My name is Stephen Leonard, a graduate of Coverta High School and Tuskegee University. Um, been in the manufacturing and scaffolding access business for over 30 years. You know, our, our product scaffolding is used all over the country and, in, and the world. And uh, people can't tell whether you're black or white talking to them on the telephone. So I was invited to a job because they wanted some of our equipment in Atlanta. So I flew there and um, went to the job site and, um, you know, the, our dealer who invited me to the job site who wanted the equipment, I think it was one of the subcontractors, we had to talk to the general contractor. So the general contractor basically kind of ignored me and for like a uh, half hour while we were waiting. He was just so busy, but he was the one that initially wanted us to be on the project. And, you know, he just came and looked at me and told me he didn't want me there. And, you know, and the guy said, hey, don't worry about it. We, we just need to show him the equipment, you know. And uh, that was one thing my dad always uh, played with uh, the white companies. Even though he owned the company, he invented the product, he didn't let on that he owned it. He just said he worked for somebody. So they would assume that it was a white person. So he wouldn't, the focus was to make a sale so you can employ people here in covert. So he just kind of played it like that. But man, that man, he just, you know, boy, didn't I tell you to leave? I said, yes, sir. I'm sorry. You know, so I left. But my dad was was really bold, and um, you you know he would just kind of uh, he had his own charisma, and I, I uh, appreciated him for that. How he would just approach people, he would stay totally focused on the product and just ignore whatever racism that they would had. Um, you know, another incidence of, of racism that I experienced recently, then it's, it's just really, uh, it was hard to get over. And, and that was um, right here in this uh, St. Joe. Uh, you know, our engineer, I work with this guy, he and I are friends. He, he operates out of his home. And generally, uh, no one is there, the wife and kids are gone. So we just do business, we talk about family, church going people, you know. And uh, I think this summer, um, we had a big project. <clears throat> he was doing a lot for us, and I had to stop and uh, pick up uh, the final engineering uh, documents that were sealed. And I came to the door, and I was on my way out of the town because I supervised this project in Mississippi. And uh, I stopped and I had this great big truck, so uh, not a semi, but it was, you know, business uh, pickup. And uh, I couldn't pull it in his driveway, so I parked across the street so they, you couldn't look out the window and see that I was a truck. So I came up to the door, his son answered the door, and it, he had like this look of horror on his face. And, I, and normally I'd just come in, you know, and wait by the door. And he said, sir, would you please step back? And then he locked the door like he was afraid of me. It like really tripped me out. And here I am, president of a corporation. I'm paying for this boy's uh, iPod, you know what I'm saying? And it was just very, I was very angry. and. Blood pressure, I went flush on him. And then the guy, the engineer, when he talked to me, he, he talked to me out on his porch, you know? And um, I can understand you, you, know, you have a business and all of that, but if you have a business in your home, then you have to be prepared that you may have to do business inside your home. And it, it just really pissed me off. I think, uh, Racism is the basis of lack of knowledge. And uh, I think white people and black people don't really recognize that. Um, you know, it's kind of stupid to hate on me just because I'm black or vice versa. 
or, you know, why I hate this white man, he really didn't do anything to you. Maybe you're lumping him in a box that he doesn't feel or he shouldn't feel. He shouldn't be lumped into just like you don't want to be lumped into that same box as, oh, black people are all alike. The history of racism, you, you don't know what thin, you don't know what you have to take compared to not knowing if you're going to get lynched just because you had to walk a mile to your job on a dark road. Thank God I and you don't have to do that. But uh, just because some white person bumped you and then you want to, um, you, you want to say something real vulgar to them or get pissed off. And it's like, man, you're bigger than this. And black people are bigger than this. We come from so far, you know? We, uh, people had to endure so much for you to do what? Be all pissed off because somebody what? Said something cross to you or called you a nigga? Oh, hell, not the N-word. Or hung a noose in a tree? It's like, man, we get together on stuff, you know? It's like, oh, a noose in the tree, that reminds me of uh, when they used to hang black folk. And it's like, ah, oh, man, give me a break. You know what I'm saying? Why don't we come together on getting these guys to shut his house down that's, that's, that's turning over maybe 10 pounds of crack a week, you know what I'm saying? Why don't we show up on that instead of going to the courthouse every week talking about uh, the system is messed up and then you got like 15 followers. Why don't you work in the program and that's going to feed people or you got your sobriety, come to AA once in a while, you know what I mean? Help some people. Uh, you know, uh, show up at the soup kitchen. Maybe uh, all you do is just have a ladle and put it in somebody's bowl and smile at them. That's good stuff, you know, but Man, just show up, get a job, finish school, finish high school, dude, what up? Finish high school, how hard is that gonna be? Just do something, you know, quit complaining, you know? I was like, and not even talking about your pants or this culture, and it's like, you just give up, you know? Just get with the program. You're not gonna get a job, you know, it's, just because you, 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 you wear your pants low and now it's about who you are being a black person because you wear your pants low. And then you got your hair all in these little things. You know, that's not blackness. That's just you. You know, blackness is getting up in the morning, taking care of the kids that you fathered, and trying to spend some time with them and washing dishes once in a while and cleaning the house up and not going off on your girlfriend or your wife. Man, just do the right thing, like Spike said. You know, you know what's right, just do it. Quit hating on yourself, you know?